sheet screen one okay so we are going live on youtube too let's go into a demo okay <laughs> fine so uh, before we start building chatbots uh, using chatbots.uipod.com we need to have two things one is a console uh, like a google account uh, where we can use console.cloud.google.com along with that we also need to have dialog flow where our chatbot will reside so in this chatbots uh, so this is the basic chatbot that i have so let's delete this and create everything from the beginning so that it will be easier fine let's create uh, let's give it name ai path demo chatbot demo let's start okay i have two things to configure one dialog flow and the second one is service now orchestrator oh sorry it's orchestrator service let's go ahead and connect the service first so what do we have we have these and let's go with our orchestrator platform so the necessary windows and continue with microsoft so we have a junket outlook.com then sign in notification okay let me sign in quick we have a request 10 unlock okay so now we do have an orchestrator ready and here is my service let's create the api access for this one okay okay i have my keys available copied pasted so there is only copy paste work that we need to do now it made our life so easy okay client id we have service no logic agent what is the logic agent uh tenant client id so we have the client id okay this will be the client id so we have the client id so we will be configuring that to our uh, default folder tenant logical name let's see if we are mapping it correctly so this is tenant logical name and account logical name is mapped properly so let's connect it okay orchestrate is connected let's close and let's connect the dialog flow so using dialog flow so for that we need to create a new agent chatbot uh, let's give you a path chatbot demo creating a new agent and let's give it a default time zone to india for 30 is 530 okay let's give it as 530 not sure why but let's give working okay. okay create a demo for us okay we have things ready and let's go with this id so we have the project id along with that we have a service account so this will be a project id which we need to give uh, our to control to so this will be a project id anyhow i'll be deleting all this later so i need not worry about keys now 
okay so for this what i need to do i need to go back to my console admin i need to refresh here i need to see what is the app that i'm using right now so this small talk i am not using now cancel let's see again i need to have a different application here in other than small talk where do we have it okay in the all we should have a chatbot demo okay here in this i need to go here and instead of dialog flow i need to give it as client i need to give dialog flow api admin save it once i saved this i need to i think i need to go into the service accounts okay i have the service account and in that service account what do we have uh, create a key i need to create a json key okay key is created but i need to download it somewhere i have create it in the downloads show in folder open okay let's show in folder okay this we need to open with notepad so here we have begin private key so from here we need to go and extract till and private key once we have it we need to go back and paste so if we paste it correctly we'll have connect here okay and done that's it and fallback intent unmapped and welcome intent mapped so what do we have in dialog flow i think i can have hi so let's see what is the intent hi hello you so this is the welcome intent so i need not create any special intents now i just need to map something we have hello world forms i need to map this particular process which i have already published in my orchestrator okay done connect so here this is the virtual agent i need to create okay and save and close copy embedded code save and close okay i need to test it okay this is the url where i can test okay i have a chatbot okay i have with my name let's give it a high intent so this should go and trigger the bot which is there in my orchestrator and orchestrator is connected to my laptop so my laptop should start the process and it should show some message that's a simple thing working on it let's give okay it's quick and we completed the complete process in 16 minutes okay now uh, demo time is completed i want to ask you if you have any questions please go ahead and ask me questions now uh, yes i have one question like uh, yes. for example i want to define like different i know uh, we saw that we we are able to define multiple bots why uh, can you show yes. an example of how to map multiple intents to different bots um not sure because this is the first time i have done done that okay. but let's see uh, if we can add a different intent and if we can uh do something uh, okay yes. create an intent okay context and okay what do we have a response parameter add context also input context will be ui path okay again for the same context i will run the same bot okay and we have different add a response working on it working on ui path intent let's check save intent name is required let's give it as intent name ui path save so i have created a ui path intent now let's give it try and see what is the response that i'm get, getting okay default response one more time default intent are you sure you want to navigate okay cancel let's save it i think we need to save the intent first and let's try with ui path 
Okay, let's go back to entities. We don't have any entities as well. Do, can we, uh, so people who are available, do you know uh, how to train this bot now? Uh, train, like change the, like define a new intent so that bot will be triggered. Yeah, so I have already created a intent. Uh, so let's yeah. see if we have any intent that's available now, because since I have created a new intent, it should be available in this in particular. Portion. Yes, intents. Okay, we have intent, but let's map the same thing now. Okay, we mapped it. Okay, but we just need to see if the intent is properly getting triggered. UI path. We are getting a default fallback intent. Let's create an entity as well. Create an entity with UI path. I'm just giving some blank data, the synonym. Okay, this is the intent. Uh, let's give now. Let's save it. UI path. UI path and we are still getting the same thing uh, in the validation or training i think we can map some intents right validation ui path and okay intent contains no training phases so how can we give a training phase for this one context or uh, response fulfillment any idea Add a training phase. Okay, let's add a training phase. It can be UI path. I am not giving anything else so that it can be as simple as possible. Done. Okay, intent saved, intent available now. Let's try again. UI path. No, we still training completed just now. Let's give a UI path. Sorry, okay, says UI path, uh, default fallback intent. So any idea now? Validation. Okay, UI path. Training phase, events, add a training phase. Okay, add responses, working on the intent. Save. Let's go to entities as well. Uh, do we need any other entities that we need to add? Okay, enter a synonym UI space path. Okay, I just need to get the value. Like I need to get some response from it stating that, okay, I'm working on UI path. So let's try with UI path again. Default response I'm getting. Okay, let's try. Or if we are able to get something from here, UI path. Let's see. Sorry, what was that? So it's not able to match the intent properly. Okay. Okay, add a follow-up intent. We don't have any follow-up intent and entities. Add UI path. We need to run this and we have entities. Okay, let's say that start UI at UI path, create entity. Okay, UI path entity, fulfillment integration, cancel, UI path underscore entity, save. So where can we train? Do anyone know that? Dollar flow says, no, let's save it. At least one reference value at UI path. Okay, we have UI path here. Let's save it. Knowledge based integrations we don't require. All it should do is give us some data or an output fallback entity issues we don't have any issues we have ui path okay 
uh, output context add an input context okay training phase start ui path this is one more thing i can give save it ui path okay not sure how to do this okay we have a chat message let's see what exactly are you trying to show us in the live okay i'm i have already completed kishore i think i have created a uh, direct mapping using chatbot uh, that's provided by uipath chatbot.uipath.com now all we are trying or all we are struggling is how we can create a new entity intent and map it to the existing intents okay remove mapping this is not done let's launch again and let's see okay start ui path is this is start ui path we don't have intent training yes okay we don't have training so who are there on live okay let's go big okay who what right with you okay we have chat where do we have chat we have chat window group chat we don't have anyone everyone in the meeting okay so we have so no one knows okay fine i am closing this uh, intent mapping for now but do you have any other questions let's see it in offline actually no thanks okay so this video is already recorded uh, don't try with one okay we have uh, one message from kishore don't try with one or two intents create at least 10 different intents to show or give a good understanding okay maybe that can be a scope for the next video i'll definitely do that okay uh, it was a great presentation thank you thank you so much uh, so this will be this video is already recorded so you can watch it online okay bye bye guys thank you so much for joining me and yeah, do thanks. like share my video channel yes, uh, it's vajra uh, uipath at uh, uipath by vajrang uh, vajrang bilapur okay bye bye thanks vajrang